Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of EVE Online. This is actually my first episode in English. I already made like 150 videos or something in German about this game. But it was like 8 years ago. So if you speak German and you probably like to watch my content, you know, I'm gonna link it down below in the video description. So, CCP Games is making a big fuss about their new player experience. And I played this game for 15 years. Uh, I actually started in 2003, December 2003 till 2016 or something. You know, something in this range. I don't remember exactly, so I didn't play in years and I always played as a subscriber. So this time I'm going to play uh, this game in its free to play version and uh, I want to know how good it actually is. So in this episode we're going to, you know, make us a character. Um, the character creation probably will take some time, so I'm going to leave timestamps down below uh, if you like to jump all over this stuff. So. For everyone who didn't play the game, the Galente, the Federation, is a beacon of democracy and liberty in the chaos of New Eden. They're like, I'd say, they have like a Frenchish vibe about them. Min Martar, these guys are, you know, their ships are basically made from rust. The Amar, I like their ships, you know, like big, you know church like things and uh that's my one i am kaldari that's my race you know no oh, going to be kaldari the ships of the empire select a origin uh-huh i mean i always played chura usually so What's like a, a, a let's uh, choose a a Chura female again? Customized experience, by the way. Last time I played this, yeah, I actually can see it immediately. The character creator of this game was amazing. So I decided to basically do the character creation myself. It took me an hour, and I decided to do a sister of the character I used in my Let's Play series. She is basically the evil or mad sister. She's a bit cyberpunky, I'd say, but you know, that's her, you know? Kinda happy how she turned out. I'm not sure about her earrings, but I think I should be able uh, to change it so if you never use the character creator uh, basically uh, you can alter the face by clicking on some of the areas and you know holding the mouse and doing whatever you want in that area you can always go back by clicking back on the history like this you know you can see the last edits i've done or in this case you can't and um, then you can switch between all sorts of stuff, like um, her skin color, uh, the eyes, uh, the hair, whatever. There's like makeup, clothes, there's like tons of stuff. You can even do some body modifications, you know, like piercings, tattoos, uh, for the lips and the ears. And there's like tons of stuff. Uh, you can do if you want to try it out yourself, you know, just create an account uh, It's free. So let's go. Press next CCP impress me go Choose your education State war the state war Academy produces the finest combat pilots in the Cal Caldari state the Science and Trade Institute is known for pioneering research in the field of celestial exploration and the School of Applied Knowledge. We are going to... 
name her Lucy Doverty because that's uh, the surname for all my EVE Online characters and Lucy because, you know, it doesn't sound bad and it's not like Aiko or something, you know. Is this like my standard portrait? Enter game. I assume I can do this later and I change this because in the original I was able to now, you know, change my portrait. I'm just going to enter the game. I can't do anything else, so... Yeah, they skipped it. Let's New go. Eden. A universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one with a machine? To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars? To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals. Or to prove your worth in combat, cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer training program, you become the architect of your own destiny. Connecting. Yeah, this. Greetings, Captain. Hello. I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Thank you. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. I am now transferring your pod into a ship provided by Air as part of your Capsule. Oh, what the? An unidentified communicator. Vectoring escape route. Evacuation sequence initiated. Station hull integrity compromised. Nice. Well done on the intro, CCP. Nice one. That's one thing where there always have been great Captain, trailers. Captain, this facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank me. Yay. This Thank baptism you. by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. Okay, let's go. I'm unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but like all capsules, it is unarmed. A proper ship comes with proper weaponry. We must scan the debris for a space-worthy vessel. Now, let's... Ah! There is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. Okay, I accidentally skipped some of the part of, uh, of the introduction because I already scrolled because I know that I have to hold left-click and you, uh, know, uh, you know, scan around me. I think they upgraded the craft uh, pretty substantially. <laughs> Yo, nice. Click on this ship. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. And I can't see the UI yet. Wow. No, no. First cluster. My mind is blown introduction. Five kilometers? Okay. Oh, I hear new music and new Eden. What the hell is going on? 
I like boarding ship. I'm sorry, CCP. I just want to appreciate scenery. Okay, let's go. You, the Astaro, right? Do I remember that correctly? It's Taro. Our shields did Taro, significant it damage in the attack. Oh, Sedge. The armor is also in need of repair. Ooh. Mm hmm. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is we're screwed. <laughs> no, we just need a shield booster and armor repair. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships oh. bearing air transponders are approaching our location. Nice. This is Balin Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Okay. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity. Mm-hmm. Every single click gets explained to me. Nice. Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Animations? What the hell is going on? Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on his technology, whatever the cost. True. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. Wow. Already? Oh no, it's doing it for me. I was like, hell. Group warp, like in a tutorial? Wow, the music. Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. Okay. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. Nice. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Hmm, sad. You know, look at how good this looks. Holy cow. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. Uh-huh. The cosmic storm likes to play with our sensors, so it could be nothing. But after that attack, I'm not taking any chances. That's... that's good in New Eden, my friend. Okay, let's approach this guy. New symbols in the HUD, okay. Wow. I really like the graphics upgrade. Or the upgrades they made since I played the last time. And look at all this detail. I mean, the graphics weren't bad the last time I played, but you know, technology moves and initiating scan of unidentified signal. 
Okay. Let's go, Aura. Captain, hostiles inbound. Ooh, holy. We have to defend those unarmed Jeez. transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. Mm-hmm. Orbit the balance ship. Okay. I like the orbit. 28 kilometers. Nah, no, we need to to get a little bit closer to shoot this guy. But these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Okay. Enemies incoming. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. Ooh, the bad this guys. This is your first combat experience as a capsuleer. Time to show these hostiles what you're truly made of. Let's shoot them. But I need my shooties. You know. We're too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Okay. From here, you can monitor your ship's location. Yeah. Modules fitted. the afterburner module highlighted on your display. My database of ancient idioms contains a phrase appropriate to our situation. Drive it like you stole it. Hmm. We're now within range. Lock your target. Let's go. Target lock confirmed. That's it, Captain. Let him have it. Let's go. Level of one mission shooty shooty. In the tutorial. Well done. Still feels a little bit. Well done, Captain. Next now one. Orbit, lock, and fire on the remaining hostiles. Yes. Easy. Uh, you know, I can't right click. Why? I want to right click. Ooh, the music. He's almost down. Here. In the top right corner, you can see how our enemy is doing. Okay, next click. Is it a new feature if I click on our that it automatically shows me or is this like, um, tutorial only? That's, uh, a good question. Because I don't think it would make sense for the actual game, to be honest. Shooty, shooty, pew, pew. Marvelously done, Captain. Easy. Combat can be such a glorious experience. Boom. Especially when you're winning. True. Another hostile ship incoming. A cruiser this time. It's uh -oh. larger and better armed than those frigates. But we're smaller. What an exhilarating way to test your combat abilities. Mm hmm. Let's go. Hostile cruiser. Okay. Then let's orbit this guy. To ensure success. We must lock our target. I know. But we're 18 kilometers away. You know. Should be like five or something. So, you know, come down, Aura. Come down. Now's your chance. It's okay. Activate the No, weapon. not yet. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Let's get this bad boy. Pew pew! Get 
him! Now chance for this guy. That cruiser is traveling fast. At its current speed, it will reach the civilian transports before we do. Use your stasis webifier to slow them down. I already did, Aura! I'm sorry. The process of activating the module. First, orbit the cruiser. I do. Yeah, I'm orbiting. You know? Okay, my my cap is going down. Good job, Captain. You've got potential. So what she basically Shit. two battleships breaking away from the enemy fleet. They're stopping the last civilian transport from walking away. Watch your six, Captain. They're bigger and badder than anything you've fought before. Oh. Captain, we can use electronic countermeasures. ECM to break the battleship's lock on the civilian transport. Doing so means the battleship will be able to target only one thing. Us. There is no other way to save those civilians. They are not capsuleers like you. Their deaths will be final. Yours will be a learning experience. Okay. Let's go with this guy. Do they really suggest I should Shoot that. I mean... We'll do what we can to keep the other hostiles off your back, Captain. Focus on your target. So what I would say... That's it. The final group of civilians has escaped. You've done good, Captain. I mean... We're taking heavy fire, Commander Ferris. Once our ship is destroyed, the pod will soon follow. According to my calculations, our destruction is 99.99% certain. Yeah. These bastards have me pinned down. I won't be able to reach you in time. I think this is a planned part of the tutorial, right? You fought well today, Captain. This is a warrior's death. Luckily for you. Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Ooh, who is it? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Ooh. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. What a beauty. Went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. Oh, insurance. Enabling your station services panel. You can now board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly. Okay. I'm going to board my ship. I do hope the new vessel is to your liking. This particular model is quite popular with capsuleers. Air owes you a great debt for your bravery and sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It's my beginner's ship. So great, in fact, that I've thrown in an extra module at my own expense. Ooh. If dying means getting gifts like this, you should consider doing it more often, Captain. <laughs> that was a joke. I prefer you alive. You can access items in your hangar, like modules, from the Neocom. Uh -huh. The Neocom allows you to access a variety of goods and services. I have highlighted the section of your Neocom that will allow you to access your inventory. Mm hmm. In your item hanger, you will find the objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked. Now, let's take a look at the module Ms. Calatrix has given us. Mm, an armor repairer. For a Kaldari ship. A small armor repairer. An extremely useful gift. True. As you well know, New Eden can be a dangerous place. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Very. you will have many more exciting deaths in your future. True. Maintaining your armor 
might allow you to enjoy life in your current clone body just a bit longer. Yeah. And I still would have appreciated, you know, a shield booster. I'm sorry, but I'm Kaldari. You can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocon. The fitting window displays your current ship's equipment, stats, and attributes. Mm -hmm. Now would be a good time to examine your ship's attributes. Okay. Nice. My capacitor. And my weapons. Let's fit your new module in a free slot. Yes. I can't right click! Why? Module fitting confirmed. Now. Bring the module online. Yes. With a right click? Possibly? Why? I'm old school. I want to right click CCP. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, where was this again? I didn't play uh, this game for six years. Where was it in the UI? I always... Unfit, show info, put online. Unable to bring... It you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Oh. Hardly surprising. You still have much to learn. True. I'll send the necessary skill book to your AI right now. Under normal circumstances, you would have received a basic skill set as part of the Air Capsulaire training program. Your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. Ooh. Capsuleers learn skills, like flying ships or using modules, by rewiring their neural pathways. The skill book contains the mapping data required to perform such a feat. You know what is surprising to me? I played this game so much and my like characters have so many skill points I don't even remember that you need to learn uh, to use a small, armor, a small armor repairer but it makes totally sense now that I remember from 2003. Skill books are consumable. Once we inject it into your neural interface, you will be left with nothing but a new and improved version of yourself. Augmentations such as this are one of the many benefits of life as a capsulea. True. Absorbing the skill book's data rewrites the neural pathways in your brain, teaching you the skill. This process can take some time. Hmm. Precisely we four minutes and... ...by accessing the skill queue from your Neocon. Fifty-something seconds. That's what it should take. Here you will see the air skill plan. Mm hmm Skill plans provide capsuleers with a learning experience tailored to their specific goals. The skill needed to online your new module is included in the air skill plan. Now, begin training the skill. Wow. To speed the process they overhauled the I've UI of the skill training skill completely. Injector. It's the least I can do considering the role you played in saving thousands of lives. Mm-hmm. To finalize the skill injection process, be sure to confirm allocation of its resources, most commonly known as skill points. Okay. Am I able to right-click this one? Click the apply skill points icon to allocate these skill points. Uh... Where the heck is it? Oh, there. Wow. They did so much stuff to the UI, I can't believe it. You guys should watch my uh, my old videos on, like, skill training. <laughs> and see how the UI was looking like eight years ago. Holy cow. You should close these windows as well. Close the skill window to apply the skill points window in the inventory. Uh, the skill window? You mean this one? Skill plan completed. Why? This is my inventory. You didn't tell me to close it, right? Close these windows as well. You mean this one? Or which one do now you mean? That you have the required skill. Uh, try activating that should the be a little bit clearer, CCP. You know, with like... This freaking thing on the left confuses everyone in the start. So, you know, a little pointy thing that says like, click here! 
That would be great. I know, it sounds like stupid, but you know, in the beginning, no one understands this big thing on the left, so... Uh, try activating, sure. Very well done, Captain. Thank you. Your ship's modules are now online. Knowing how to train skills and fit modules is an essential step in your journey as a Capsuleer. But several questions remain. Who attacked the cloning facility? And what were their motivations? Hmm. Story campaign would be great. Our investigation is still in the early stages, but I have two theories. The attack may have been motivated by simple greed. There's no shortage of competitors who would kill to acquire Air's groundbreaking cloning and capsule technology. Literally. A more worrying possibility is that someone out there is trying to stop us from pursuing our research. While Air prides itself for being a disruptor of New Eden's tech scene, there are those who think we push the limits of innovation too far. The technology suppression laws in New Eden are draconian, if you ask me. Aww. I trust you will keep us updated on the investigation, Miss Kellatrix. Captain, you'll want to keep your wits about you once we're back in space. To that end, I highly recommend closing any unnecessary windows on your display. It would be a shame to lose our lovely new ship because you didn't see the danger flying towards it. Aww, close the fitting window. Sure. I wish I could do more for you, Captain. But I'm a busy woman and I have places to be. What I can do is put you in touch with contacts of mine who can help you grow as a Capsuleer. Oh, such beauty is leaving us. Okay. Ah, a perfect opportunity to familiarize yourself with the Agency. The Agency is your window into New Eden and all the Cluster has to offer. Wow. As a new Capsuleer, you are the architect of your own destiny. You could unearth secrets hidden among the stars. Or prove your mettle in the field of combat. You might even be New Eden's next great business tycoon. The choice is yours. True. Test the agent and missions tab. The contacts Vespa suggests can be found on the career agent's card. I suggest you take a moment to familiarize yourself with what each agent has to offer. They specialize in business, industry, military combat, and exploration. No matter what path you choose, you will find a career agent that can help you walk it. Once you've decided which one tickles your fancy, as the saying goes, set your destination. Cool. So, basically, I would say, that concludes the first episode, my friends. I'm still going to record more today, because... <laughs> The guys actually made me excited to play the tutorial after uh, like 10 or 15k hours. But you know what? CCP, a single player campaign with like story and stuff. Make it happen! You know, with like some tutorial and getting the player into it, you know? Not like text, but like animations like this. That would be so awesome, you know? There's so much lore in in this galaxy. Just make it happen. That would be cool. And people would appreciate it. Trust me. So, if you liked the video, you know, just leave me a thumbs up. If you're German and, you know, you want to be looking what the old times in EVE uh, looked like, you know, you can watch my hundred and whatever uh, videos on uh, if online on my channel. Also, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Until next time.